Hey everybody, it's Rod with Geek Bombast. Today we're going to talk about one of the absolute books from DC Comics. Uh, we'll be talking about All-Star Superman. Grant Morrison, Frank Quietly. All-Star Superman is one of the biggest books that came out last year. Uh, I think it's pretty much on everybody's list of gotta have absolute books. Uh, so let's take a look at the book and see why. Alright everybody, this is the book. You can see it comes with a very nice slip cover for the book, uh, Absolute All-Star Superman. The cover uh, for the slip cover, the logo, the cover for uh, the book, uh, and even the front hardback and back hardback were designed by Chip Kidd. So pretty quality presentation, I think. No expenses spared on that particular front. So we'll open up the book here. Now, of course, as we all know, I like to show off this front page, kind of pretty, very nice looking there. Absolute Arsenal Superman was written by Grant Morrison, penciled by Frank Quietly, digitally inked and colored by Jamie Grant, um, with an introduction in the book by Chip Kidd, uh, and of course, Superman created by Siegel and Schuster. We all knew that. This does collect the entire 12 issue run of Absolute. All-Star Superman, or All-Star Superman as it was known in its original uh, single-issue format. Um, so it is a complete story from beginning to end. You get the intro by Chip Kidd, you jump right to the first issue. They do present the cover to each issue before the story in the book, which is, I think, pretty nice. Uh, you get what I think is one of the greatest recaps of an origin. It literally takes two pages, as you just saw. We just went through the origin of Superman retold. When they do these splash covers or these uh, double-page spreads here, Frank uh, Quietly's art really just pops off the page. I also really enjoyed the way that the color is absorbed by these pages. You've got a really thick, good quality paper, uh, especially for a title like this, where colors are very bright, very vibrant. It really does a great job of soaking those in and kind of showing them off, I think, in a fantastic way. Uh, the book is, even has your little ribbon here for your placeholder. The book features a, a Lex Luthor a little different than maybe you're used to. It is the kind of return to the mad scientist green armor wearing uh, villain, which I think I like a little more than the industrial uh, kind of uh, uh, Bill Gates evil Superman version, or Lex Luthor version that they've done. Uh, I'm trying to avoid some spoilers in this book. I don't want to uh, ruin anything if you haven't had the experience of reading it. Uh, but you can see from this page pretty clearly uh, there are some pretty crazy ideas that are going on in this book. Graham Morrison is not everyone's cup of tea. I think the story he was creating here is pretty interesting in that he went a little crazy, he went a little overboard, but because it's Superman and it's such a fantastic kind of uh, old school way of looking at the character, it really services the story very well. So it's one of the Grant Morrison stories from beginning to end that I actually enjoyed quite a bit. All right, so we jump back here towards the end. We'll try to avoid those spoilers and get to some of the special features. You can see there's some concept artwork in here. Uh, it features the covers, which are, again, in the book as well. Uh, you've got character sketch information on most of the major characters uh, from beginning to end. Kind of gives you an idea of uh, the thought process for creating these characters for the book. Uh, and then what I like is even the smaller characters get some, uh, some background information, some bi biography information about who they are, where they came from, that sort of thing, kind of what the ideas were. Uh, for a lot of the characters in the book, which I think is pretty fantastic. Uh, and then he does kind of touch on the 12 labors of Superman, which the story was based on uh, these different things. Uh, it kind of goes through the ideas, has an alternate cover, biographies, of course, and that's pretty much it. So then you close it up here. You've got your fantastic back cover as well with uh, Lois Lane and Superman and the Globe. And that's your book. It is Absolute's version, uh, DC Comics' Absolute All-Star Superman. I think definitely worth checking out. Uh, thanks for joining us. Again, I'm Rod with Geek Bombast. Come back to our page later on. We'll have some more reviews up uh, as the weeks go on. Have a great day.